Hi everyone, this is your computer engineering teacher and we are learning about AC theory. There's many different simulators that we can use to help us learn about AC theory. One that we're going to use is Tinkercad. Tinkercad has a number of things that we can use to learn about AC theory. So let's take a look. We've got a really simple circuit here. What I've done is I've pulled up this here and this is called a function generator and it's an AC source and this function generator can produce a square wave, it can produce a sine wave or a triangle wave and we're going to use that in our circuit here. We've got a really simple circuit we just have a 1k ohm load resistor here and we are putting our AC sine wave across this load and basically we just want to see what that looks like with our oscilloscope. So let's take a look at how this works and how we can change things in our function generator. So let's start our simulator. So you can see here that we can set the frequency. The frequency is set to 60 Hertz and we can set the peak voltage says a 10 volt peak voltage and we can change that if we wish and I can bring the voltage down notice the oscilloscope looks like it's jumping up the wave gets bigger but all it does is it auto scales to a voltage and it's really hard to see but the voltage is right here just so you know why this is jumping all over the place it's just auto scaling to give us the right scale voltage on the vertical axis so we can set the peak voltage we can change that we can change the frequency of our AC sine wave and if we move this you can see that it takes a little bit of time for our simulator to react to the new change in frequency but as I slowly move it here my frequency is getting slower and slower as I turn the, the dial counterclockwise if I go counterclockwise you can see that the frequency goes up and the period the time gets shorter so that's how we can change that the bottom dial here is the DC offset some signals that we may be working with have an AC component and a DC component as well so what does that look like well if I move this dial here and you watch our sine wave I'm just gonna bring this down a little bit so as I move this here you can see that the whole sine wave is moving upwards and that is what it looks like when there is a positive DC bias so we're shifting this up we're continuing to shift it up it did auto scale there that's what it was doing but notice our sine wave is almost all above the horizontal axis and that's because it does have a DC bias for now we're gonna keep our DC bias equal to zero but if we want to change it here we can just stop this simulator I can click on this and I can change these numbers back I can put this back to 60 Hertz amplitude peak voltage of 10 volts and a DC offset of zero so that is how we can use one AC simulator it's called Tinkercad by Autodesk I suggest you open it up try it see if you can get the oscilloscope to work properly one thing about it is when you do click on it it does set the time per division so you need to set that according to the frequency of your wave that doesn't auto set you need to change that in the settings depending upon the frequency of the input wave that you're using. We didn't look at the other types of waves here. Let's just take a look quickly. If we run the simulator, like we said, this is a sine wave. If we click on this, it does adjust and give us a square wave output. And if we click on this one here, it does give us our triangle wave. In the examples we're going to look at next, we're going to take a look at the sine wave because that is the most common AC waveform. That's what we'll take a look at in the next video. Thanks for watching.
We'll see you next time.